I want it. What is it? What do I do? Fucking teach me. Teach me, Sin. I'll fucking read. What do I do? Why? Give me some information. What do I do? Look, it's math at the bottom, guys. <laughs> oh. Why? Hello and welcome, everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and kind of show you a little bit of the beta and what's going on. And I'll have a bunch of more content coming out over the course of this week. Showcasing the new boss fights, some stuff like some new changes on the skill tree, such as like perfect agony, along with the new pathing through which, which is really convenient considering I was bitching in a video about it yesterday. Um, a little bit of buffs to holy fire. We had some changes over, I think, to dirty techniques. I, be I believe this got changed. Um, and a couple other nodes kind of varying around the tree. Uh, but in this video, I wanted to kind of just give you guys a little overview of what's going on in the beta for those of you guys who are maybe late to coming in or are on the fence of whether or not you want to play it. So the way it works now is we've got Act 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. Once you clear Act 5, you're hit with the first resistance penalty. I believe, I could be wrong, I'll get all my information confirmed for you guys later. Uh, but once you kill the boss... You should get the penalty with minus 30 all res, minus 30 chaos res, and I believe minus, or, you know, the increase to vol, sold, uh, vol, vol skills. There you go. Now, one thing to note about this that's extremely important is when you get hit with this penalty, it doesn't matter where you are. You permanently have the penalty. Meaning if I'm in Act 1 and I look at my resistance, I have minus 48 chaos, for example. What this means is, is if you do not clear normal labyrinth, before you kill the bosses, normal labyrinth, you'll be hit with the reduction penalty. Same thing with Cruel Lab. If you're doing Cruel Lab and you kill the last boss of, uh, I think it's Act 7, you get hit with the second penalty. And because you get hit with the second penalty, you'll also have Cruel Lab. Cruel Lab will essentially be more difficult. So that's something you kind of want to pay attention to. It doesn't really matter that much because it's not really that hard to Ellie res cap, but it's just, it's just something to kind of keep in mind, you know? Um, so overall, I want to say my, um, my, um, I guess my expectations for the beta were a bit low because of last beta, but I'm very pleased for the game right now. I noticed that I was lagging really, really badly. I was playing with my roommate and I thought, I was like, oh, well, here we go again. PoE kind of fucked up a little bit and the connection is not very fun, but that's actually not the case at all. It feels like the game actually memory leaks currently, um, in uh, in beta which is okay you just restart your client exiting the character select screen and login screen will not clear the uh whatever issue they have you basically need to completely alt f4 your uh, client so the other thing is mapping i believe now starts in chamber of sins when you go to chamber of sins you have your map device here uh, but this is chamber of sins in act seven which is a different chamber of sins um, than normal so that's kind of some, some interesting things. Some other highlights about this is they changed the way sewers work. Sewers is now really fucking OP because there's just one sewer. It's called sewers. Inside this sewers, you will find all three of your busts and the waypoint. So there's no more backtracking, running left and right, and the other nonsense as well. The bandit rewards have been significantly altered. Each one gives something different. For example, I believe Oak... Uh, is life a percentage life regen, 1% uh, life regen, 20% fizz damage, and I don't know, 2% physical mitigation. Alira is, I think, crit multi, crit multi, all res, and something else. And Creighton is like dodge, cast, and attack speed, and movement speed, maybe. Or you kill them all for two skill points, not one. Uh, if you guys want to see a list of skill points that I've currently got from my passives, I can go ahead and show you guys. I've got one from Dweller of the Deep, one from Maroon Mariner, two from Deal with the Bandits, one from The Way Forward, two from Piety's Pets, one from Victorio's Secrets, one from Indominal Spirit, and the new ones would be one for From In a Servants to Science, Katava's Torments, Father of War, Puppet of Mistress, The Cloven One, um, or Cloven One, the Master of a Million Faces, Kishara Star, Queen of Despair, and then your total ascendancy points. Now, one thing to note as well is that in the beta currently, because we don't have uh, Act 8, which I believe is supposed to be queued for Merciless Labyrinth, we actually cannot clear the other labs. 
Um, that's what they stated in the post. So I haven't personally tested it myself. I'm just going off of what people told me. So because of this, um, builds are kind of a little wonky. Like my build's actually kind of fucked because I can't get Pious Path. Uh, so I'm gonna have to just make do with the four points from normal lab and cruel lab I do believe they said they're gonna be bringing those back in in about two weeks, which is totally understandable I'm all right with that Overall the game does feel a bit more smooth. Uh, I can just show you guys a little bit of content I'm sure you guys are really curious about that. So let me go ahead and just run through um, I don't know. Let's pick like uh, Let's pick a fun place. Shall we? Let's go to like Beacon. No, we'll do Brine King Brian King was was like a super fun fight for me. I don't even remember how to get to him, so here we go. Let's just do a little little scorching ray action. There are so many new types of monsters. Um, it's it's ridiculous, and some of them are pretty tanky too, which honestly makes the game a bit more uh, enjoyable. Like, the base monsters or the base types of the mobs, you can really tell. Like, those stone golem dudes have, like, retard amounts of resists. Like, these guys, look. They died, like, three times longer than the other white mobs. <laughs> They're so tanky, man. We've also got the new minimap changes, as you can see here. It takes me a little bit... Well, it's still taking me a little bit of time to get used to. Because I keep thinking that everything is water now because it's blue. Um, that's kind of just my own fucking beef I gotta, I gotta do overall. I still really, really like the game, you know? Where is, what do we have over here? Mr. Brian King, where art thou? Mr. Brian King Senpai. Now I'm not Cap Cold Res. I'm actually only 41, so uh, Pretty sure this guy can still do quite a bit of damage to me. I am eight levels above the zone, but uh, it doesn't it doesn't mean that uh, he can't fucking kill me. I've actually died two times on this guy. You can see I'm playing in the softcore league because you know it's beta, and uh, my two deaths are actually pretty interesting. My first death was to the double ribbons in Solaris. I got shocked and stunned by the firestorm. As you can tell, I'm a very top tier racer. And my second death was to uh, actually one of the fire bosses that basically my game lagged and I insta died and it was feels question mark man, which we'll be covering later. All right, so this is gonna be the Brian King, just a little, a little sneak peek of what he does. This was a very, very fun fight. Honestly, I think I think like 95% of all the bosses, if not 100% of the new ones they put in, are a lot of fun. Like, I really, really do enjoy them. Oh, I don't want to kill him fast. I'm just... Oh, wait, no, we see he automatically has phases. So this is this is the phase that he goes through, which is pretty OPO. So if you're not paying attention and you get clipped by this water, it'll fucking destroy you. And also, while this is happening, he puts down like these little storm calls that fall. What is this? Maimed? So here's an example. If I were to go over here, it does quite a bit of damage. I mean, remember, I am Mind Over Matter, and for those of you guys who do not know, Mind Over Matter recently had a change, so it works for all damage over time, including Righteous Fire. And this is his little ad phase. <laughs> I can tell this is a fight players are not going to want to do it hardcore at all. I know I'm doing quite a bit of damage here, but he is, I promise you, he is he is usually more tanky. Uh, I'm using a plus two fire gem staff with 48% spell damage, supported with my Scorching Ray, Ellie Focus, uh, Faster Casting, and the new one, uh, the new Burn Damage, which from, uh, well, let's see, with my current setup, gives me 54% more burning damage uh, so that would put me from 4,000 all the way down to 2,600 with the new support gems anyway that's pretty much about it I just wanted to give you guys a little rundown of what's going on in beta hope you guys are gonna be excited for some new content I'm pretty fucking stoked 
and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. But remember, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and you can catch me streaming live with the beta every day for probably the next two weeks, if not more, at twitch.tv slash pox. Have a wonderful time, everybody.